I'm the director and star of Shooter's Kitchen. <laughs> like, Let me do my Martin Welcome Scorsese. back. <clears throat> today in Shooter's Kitchen we're doing a, a fan requested video today. And I'm just going to show you the ingredients and you guys have to guess as I go. And if you don't figure it out by the last ingredient, you're not African. We got goat, goat meat, on the bone. Is it on the bone? Yes it is, but whatever. We got some hot peppers. We got some, we got garden eggs. It's like an eggplant, small eggplant type thing. We have okra, whole bunch of okra. Soak your okra. Oh. Soak your okra. Rosemary, whole bunch of rosemary. Come here, come here. Smell that. Oh. Woo! Oh, what does it smell like? Rosemary. I want to Fresh it. time by the bundle, you know? Man's out here reflects their money like this, but I do it with my with my herbs, you know? Time you got money. time, cuz. Time is money, cuz. I got time today, cuz. <laughs> you know we're out here. We got time today, cuz. <laughs> Ginger. Garlic. Red onion. This African pepper. I don't know what it is, but we're using it today on Shooter's Kitchen. I'll pull up a fun fact about it. So you're not going to call it what its name is? My beautiful wife is going to tell you what the name of this pepper is right now. Uh, what is it called? Negro? Pepper? That's it? Negro pepper? So this is a Negro pepper. Or... Negro. Or it's a Hawentia hole, okay? <laughs> so we're doing here. We're getting real African on. I got chicken stock cube, bouillon, whatever you want to call it. Tomato paste. And... Cassava powder. And if you haven't realized what I'm making yet, what you, Shooter's Kitchen. Are you purposely covering? Foo -foo. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, are you purposely covering? I don't know how to make that? fufu, but we're gonna do it today. It's getting done. Fufu is happening today. I got okra and my goat. So give me an estimate on how much everything cost here. About, I don't 50, you, about you, 50 bucks. Did you show the tomatoes? I don't think you did. I got tomatoes. 50 bucks. We're gonna start by seasoning our goat in this pot. He can film this part, because we're gonna do it all in the pot. No, we're not. Goat in the pot. Goat in the pot. Salt. A fucking John Cadol portion size. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna peel, come over here to the cutting board, madame. We're gonna come over here to the cutting board and we're gonna peel and chop our rosemary and thyme. So you're gonna add your thyme and rosemary to the pot along with some of your red onion. Yeah, for the, for the, for now. You'll see. You're gonna add the onion to your soup. You trying to save on my knife, fam? I looked at it earlier. And some garlic. And boom, we're ready to get this on the stove. Hey, you haven't said boom in a long time. Come over here. Cameraman, come. Ah! Oh, sorry. So you're gonna put that on a, like a 
a seven or a six or a medium high, whatever. Just gonna get that cooking. You know, your bouillon cubes. Bouillon Bay. That's why I like Shrew's Kitchen, because I can come with jokes out of my ass. Bouillon Bay? Tell me you're not going to see, ha ha, Bouillon Bay! In the comments section. Bouillon. Yeah, it's Bouillon today. Bouillon. Okay, so you get your beef in there cooking away. Beef. Your goat. We're going to add some water. You want me to do anything specific or just like... Still. Just okay, 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 okay. Add some water. How much water? Just enough to cover half the meat. I got the fucking wrong burner on again. Get your kitchen mishaps. Rusty, I've shot four this week. <laughs> Can you stir it? So get that on, and we're just gonna let this cook for a while. Just don't cover the meat, but have enough liquid in there because you want the goat to get tender. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna make a quick hot sauce. So boom, some garlic, hot peppers, seeds and all, in. Chopped one. Set that one. <laughs> <laughs> Still going in the food. And some red onion. That shit on Tell and, then you, and then onion. We're gonna make a quick little sauce right here. This so, is all you need. Okay, so go over again what's in there. Garlic, hot peppers, onion. Done. A little bit of salt. A little bit of oil if you want. A little tiny bit of oil. Cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> cupboard. Put a cupboard in there. <laughs> Lid. That's gonna be a hot ass sauce. I'll do some pulsing action. So did you even take the stems off of those seeds? Off of those peppers? Damn yeah, right I did. Oh. So you just threw them in there, way in there. <laughs> you know what I can do anyway? Since I'm making fucking soup. No, oh, I thought there was a reason you weren't using water. Smell it. Woo! No? You don't get a woo from you? There you have your little hot sauce. If your peppers are red, this would be red, but my peppers were green, so it looks like this. Doesn't look like a traditional hot sauce. Well, Ooh, trust me, it looks like peanut the thing's punch. hot, B. Thing's hot. Have a whip? Go have a whip. That. You have to be on camera to whip it. For that. Yeah. Come, give him the camera. So we're just gonna boom, throw this in there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> give that a stir us and just cook that. Cook that for about 20 minutes. While well, the soup's doing its little thug fizzle. We're gonna prepare all the vegetables. We're gonna use about this much of our onion, a nice chunk like this. The rest of it put aside. 
our tomatoes. I'm going to cut off the tops only. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. Because they're going to get blended up anyway. So your tomatoes are already ready. Just like so. These, I'm going to take off the stem. Cut them in half. Okra. Today we're not soaking our okra. Because last time we were putting it in a gumbo, today we're putting it in a soup, so it's going to soak in the soup. tip of the day pro tip of the day ginger spoon okay peel ginger like so <laughs> never use a knife and worry about chopping off your fingers then ever I think cooking fufu by talking like a Jamaican cuz I'm a Jamaican making fufu yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen? Have you guys ever seen the video of Marco Pierre White making Jamaican style <laughs> rice and peas and chicken? Have you seen this video? Oh yeah. my goodness! I have to redeem him. So my one of my next few videos, one of them is gonna be jerk chicken and rice and peas because this guy. You shouldn't even have mentioned video. that. It's a good video. That's how I learned how to make rice. The fuck out of my house. <laughs> Clean up this mess here because fucking chef, fucking the little short guy would be having a fucking mental breakdown if he seen me working like this. You don't need all this ginger, so I'm gonna chop my ginger. You could have put some in your hot sauce. You're gonna burn the people's throat for real? The pepper and the ginger, that's too much. A little ginger cube there. Go on the soup later. I'm gonna check on my goat to see how it's doing. It's only been about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna keep cooking it more. Get more brown on the meat, get more, just get more life going on in here. More life. More of everything. More of everything. Let me cook that for another 10 minutes. No. We were both went to this fufu restaurant, me and my me and my comrade over here. Went to a fufu restaurant to try fufu for the first time because we were always joking around talking about fufu, making fufu, blah blah blah. Because there's a lot of Africans where we live. So we're like, one day, I'm, I'm spontaneous like this. Like one day I'm like, today's a roti day. We were supposed to get gyros today. But one day I was like, Yero. we're getting fufu today. It's happening. And this guy thought we're joking, but I'm like, no. We're going to get fufu right now. Pull up to the fufu spot, I walk in. I walk in. I'm looking at them. I know exactly why I'm there. 100% we came here just for fufu. We Google search the best fufu in, in Ottawa. I walk up, I'm like, what do I want today? What are you getting, man? I don't know. I'm like, let me get the fufu with the with the soup. He's like, who told you about that? In the African, what's the African accent? Nigerian? I can't come with the African one on the fly right now. Only is you're my, you're my girlfriend now? Okay, listen. <laughs> so I say, let me get the fufu with the soup. And he says, who told you about that? I'm like, no one told me about that. He's like, you had that before? I'm like, no, I haven't had that before. I'm like, that's why I'm here today. I want to I wanna have that. And he's like, you know, it's like mashed potatoes. I'm like, yeah, man, I want the fufu with, with the light soup. And Tsuboogie gets the one with the peanut soup. The peanut soup just tastes like straight fucking peanuts soup. Yeah, I don't mind. It tastes like peanut punch. You might as well drink <laughs> p p peanut water. Like, you might as well just mix up peanuts in here and eat it. It is. And then, when we were done, we're, we're sitting at the table eating our fufu with our hands. He came and brought it to the table and he said, but you don't get no utensils. He didn't tell us you have to eat it with his hands. He just walked up, put it and said, but you don't get a spoon and left. And then after we're done eating, there's a guy straight from Ghana it looked like. The man was in a Louis V belt with a tight blue like suit on. Like it didn't <laughs> fit him. It was the buttons were like busted. He like was this. buff? And he was big and buff. He <laughs> <laughs> brolic? Brolic African guy. He goes, he looks over as he's leaving, he paid his bill, he's leaving, he looks over, he goes, hey, are you guys from Ghana? I look, me and him both look, I'm like, I'm like, maybe he thinks this guy is black. I'm like, 
Me? <laughs> He's like, yeah, are you from Ghana? Have you been there? I'm like, no, man, I just know how to, I just know how to eat fufu. Uh, it's the guy, I, I did my research before I came here. <laughs> You're so corny, babe. I did my research. I'm not just gonna go eat fufu <laughs> and not do my research. <laughs> Feel like an asshole. Can I get a spoon? This man fucking roasting you for eating with a spoon. Yeah, this guy has for a spoon. <laughs> Wild. And I dissed him the whole time. But that's my fufu story, and that's why we're doing this, and because you guys have asked me nicely. Please. Ever since I wore that dashiki in my Instagram post, they've been asking me to make fufu. And that was a long time ago. It was like two yeah, years ago. Yeah, over a year ago. Alright, so we're gonna let our goat cook a bit. We got our vegetables all chopped up. And we just... It's soup. It's the waiting game. So, we'll be back in about... Less than ten minutes. I got a little clip from the day I just found in... In Sea Boogie's phone. We have a clip. Of us just munching on some fufu, so you guys know. We don't tell fake story times over here. <laughs> Bye. Do you already know the type of situations we find ourselves in? <laughs> Alright, we're back. It's veggie time. Veggie, veggie, veggie. Veggie time. Veggie tails time. What do you know about some veggie tails? What do you know about veggie tails? <laughs> Grab the camera. See buggy with the buggy. So we're gonna come over here with all our stuff. We're gonna take that off the heat. Put it off. Look in there. Show them that. Got a nice pan of that. So we got some color going. Smelling it's delicious. And then we're just gonna add everything. This big chunk of onion. We're gonna leave it chunk like that. We're gonna add the squash or the. Eggplant. I'm leaving everything in big chunks because I'm going to take it out after. And blend it all up. And then put it back. So I'm just straight up throwing these tomatoes in there just like that. Okra. Put the zoom in all of that. We're gonna add more water. And about a big ass spoonful of tomato paste. And we'll mix that all up. Don't worry, it looks crazy now. The things then is gonna be right. I'm gonna cover that, cook it for about 10 to 20 more minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, yeah. well that's cooking. Yeah, it's in that bin. Well, that's cooking, we're gonna make a quick little spice that we're gonna add to the soup towards the end. We're gonna get our, this African pepper type thing, we'll rinse it off, drop it in. Two cloves, you don't want too many cloves in there because it'll, it'll kill you. <laughs> And then, you traditionally you put some peppercorns in here and crush them up, but I'm just gonna put straight pepper because I don't have no peppercorns. We're gonna crush this till it's smooth. We're gonna crush this till the neighbors complain. You can throw your ginger in there too and crush that up. Joke of the day, go. Joke of the day? How many, how many Caucasian males from Canada does it take to make a pot of soup and fufu? Baku. Okay. <laughs> you feel yourself? <laughs> You're dumb. That's for my Ghanaian fans, they'll get it. But put something in the, in the bottom of the subtitles? video Subtitles? I'll put subtitles. I think this is a Dragon Ball Super. So boom, we have this. We're gonna add this to our soup towards the end. It's gonna add like a flavor. Reggae, reggae sauce. <laughs> so 
So now that our soup's been cooking for about 10, 10, 15 minutes with the vegetables in there, we're gonna get those vegetables out. Come. Right into the blender. Put a lid on that once you get all your veggies out. Come over here. Pull out the blender. The Splenda blender. I haven't used this yet, this is exciting. We gotta make smoothies in there for now. This is a ninja, this is my Hokage here. He's the one who keeps everything going. And boom, you're just gonna put that right back in the soup, just like so. Yeah, try your best not to ruin it. We're gonna add our, just add this in. Just gonna add some more flavor. Feel like we didn't have enough in there already. So our soup is done. Our soup's done. This is our soup, we're just gonna let it cook for like, I'm just gonna let it cook for like 10 more minutes because I want the goat to be as tender as it can be. Are you gonna keep it on high or are you gonna turn it down? I'm gonna turn it down, I didn't even know it was on high. So now for the main event. The main event. I don't know if this is even gonna work. I don't know. I did extensive, extensive, extensive research on how to make fufu. Because apparently in Africa it's a serious thing, eh? The fufu. It's complex. And then I watched one video where she's like, everyone wants to make it so complex, but it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's easier than making rice. Of course. So now for our fufu. I'm a bit scared, but we got some water in the pot. Get close. We got water in the pot. We're gonna get that up to maximum boil. Maximum. So our water's boiling, so it's time to make fufu. Let's go. We got our water boiling for fufu. You kinda need four arms, so you need a friend. Or there's ways to do it, but you gotta do it on the floor. But I'm not doing that today on sushi. The floor? So, my sous chef here. See Boogie with the bogey, tell him what up. Tell him what up. Yeah. Tell him you done no. You need to move done. over there because You need the to lights. come here and you need to add fufu until I tell you to stop. Okay, I got you. So little, how did the lady make it by herself? What the hell? Come. Right now? Yeah, just add fufu. There's weird smoke coming out of the pot, so I can't so steam. Long, so long, so long. Not too much.
your fufu's ready, you're gonna form it into a nice ball in a bowl. This is my pet. You know how hard it was to make this guy? This beautiful fufu. I, I, I gained a new respect for Africa today. <laughs> this is what I got to give, guys. I tried. My arms hurt. <laughs> I'm sweating. My hair's fucked up. I'm covered in... Powder. Look at this. <laughs> Wait, isn't that from... That one if, even if the food foods taste like shit, uh, the soup tastes so good, it doesn't matter, babe. So you're okay, okay? Thanks, babe. You're welcome. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to eat some foo foo. Foo foos. Wash your hands. Seeing as Hell no, this is the hand food. Aren't you sharing this? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh, coat? yeah, she, she was outrageous. Mmm, mmm. 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 Okra. Soak your okra. Mmm. I don't use those seeds inside okra. I never opened the okra before. Uh, I would assume they're okra seeds. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin seeds inside an okra. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna have some? Oh, this is definitely perfect. There's nothing wrong with the first one I made. I, I saw no, the so first good. one didn't look like that. So yes, there was something wrong with it. Take out the garbage, you want to put it in your soup. You didn't even clean your shirt off. You're out here with Indulge. powder Indulge. on your shirt. Wash your hands. All right. Okay. You can't just put your fingers in an excellent spoof when you didn't <laughs> wash your hands. Wash your I shirt. I don't live in a country where you don't have to use utensils. What do you mean? Like that? You don't have to use You don't, utensils. exactly. Yeah. What are you talking about? We're like, yeah, I want to go to any restaurant I want and just. <laughs> You can. Go to a fucking, go to a, like a, a hot like a, Italian restaurant and just eat the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They'll be so mad. <laughs> what are they going to do with really? it? What a damn thing. They're going to stare at you. You know what I want to Michael Jackson music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to protect the food. The foo foo. Okay, okay, okay. They don't use this powder at the African store. That we went to because this has so much more. This has so much flavor compared to. What was that side eye? What is going on here? He, he's doing his homework right now. It's like sweet. You know, all the one at the African store didn't have a taste. That's proper, bro. <clears throat> okay, put some in my I wish you guys could taste this. I what do you want, some fufu? I can't grab it myself, because... Want some fufu, or...? Yeah, I want everything. No goat. I won't have some any goat. Fufu. You gotta lean in for this, babe. Just like last time. Just let, let me just... It's so much. Hmm. You like? Yeah, kind of. It's just really spicy. It is, uh, but it's a good flavor. Yeah, it's good. Well, yeah, yeah. No, the, the pot's still on. Oh. What, what is going on here? Disrespectful. Oh, my man. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> this guy put a spoon in my fufu. Why is this kid doing this? I'm eating that piece. You get nothing. It's like sticking her butt out. Ooh. The baby. She's doing some shit, man. She's liking the fufu. Not my friends. Mm. 
is how you, at home, in your Caucasian house, outro time. Eat some fufu, man, while I'm doing my outro. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy yourself. Next time on Shooter's You really need to use reggae reggae sauce. <laughs> <laughs> reggae reggae sauce! <laughs> I just gotta show that video. Oh my god. Well, that's that for this shooter's kitchen. I made some fufu. I fucked up the fufu the first time, but I got it perfect the second time. Comment down below suggestions, ideas, what you think I can't cook. If you think I can't cook it, comment it down below and I'll try to cook it. <laughs> this video gets four likes. <laughs> I'll drop another video <laughs> this week. Bye, wonderful time. Bye, have a wonderful time. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be Bye. Dan Rue, okay? <laughs> and Dan <laughs> What do you want me to say? Sorry. Right. So you don't know. So you don't know. The time is already. I'll be in Toronto right. this weekend. You don't Catch know. me at Eaton's. Don't know. See Boogie will be in Toronto this weekend. So meet I and eat off and meet the bulky <laughs> man. You guys can smoke bogeys together. Your apartment will stink. You can have stinky children. Send me a pack of bogeys. What? Send in a pack of Australian fine cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Don't know. We're signing out. And we're eating this fufu. <laughs>